Okay, I do not want to get emotional. Do not get emotional. Do not get emotional. <laughs> Assemble with Care is a game that's supposed to help us relax ASMR and kind of supposed to be like the game's unpacking and a little to the left. So if you like organizing, apparently this is the game to play. There are so many cool things about it. It looks like we're putting batteries, we're screwing things in, we're playing with cassettes, that is really old school. And then we're just kind of fixing things in a way to relax. So I'm curious if this game is actually any good. Let me know in the comments if you've ever played this game. And if you're new here and you like what you see, make sure to subscribe, otherwise I will slash you. Do it. We don't joke around here with trash pandas. And as little trash pandas, we might look cute and sweet and absolutely adorable. Look at us, we're so cute. But as trash pandas, we get our way, okay? That means when you subscribe, you're a trash panda, so you get your way too. <laughs> When we look at the App Store, this game does not have too many ratings. That's because it's mostly played on PC, so I'm curious for those of us who just want to relax in bed with a mobile app if this is actually good. And apparently to unlock the full game, it is about $8. But the pictures in the app store really do look absolutely adorable. They have this kind of vintage, relaxing kind of scene to them. And apparently there's a story too. These are really cute. I absolutely love the animation and the drawing style here. It's really, really pretty. So without further delay, let's see what Assemble With Care actually looks like. Please enjoy the first four chapters of this game for free. So as I said, we do have to unlock it for $8, but this will give us enough information to know whether it is worth it or if it is, it does the fucking game. Okay, let's hear the music here. Okay, so far so good. It's kind of got a lo-fi type vibe. Yeah, definitely kind of futuristic vibe. It says Maria's Mix. Can I press any buttons? Oh, oh, okay. Okay, that's the eject button. <gasps> Look at that. It says Minato Stereo. Stereo. <laughs> stereo, not stereo. Okay, let's open this up. And I love the fact that every button has its own sound. All right, let's put Maria's mix in there. I'm loving the sounds. And let's go ahead and close this case. Oh my goodness. All right, now we have to go horizontal. So we're changing up our screen here. All right, where do we plug this in? Oh, on top. Let's plug you in. This game is best played with headphones. You know what? I believe it. So we can probably open this. Close it. Stop and play. Okay, this was the intro? That's cute! Okay, I'm getting a feel for this. If this game really is that good, we're going to be playing it on stream, so make sure that you do have notifications turned on. After a year on the road, oh. I thought I'd get tired of traveling. The endless clatter of railways, highways, and everything in between. Wow, the voice acting is phenomenal! But as my train pulled into the station at Bellariva, I felt every bit as excited as the first day of my journey. The, the art style is absolutely gorgeous. Okay. A whole year. It felt like a lifetime. The places I'd seen, the people I'd met, of course, the forgotten treasures I'd given a new lease of life along the way. This is really pretty. I'm a restorer by trade. Bringing our most beloved possessions back to life is what I love to do. I'd been traveling for months, working my way from one town to the next, fixing everything from family heirlooms to VCRs. That's a really cute job. You're just going around helping people fix old school stuff that they need in order to have memories back. That's actually pretty cute. I like the story of this. Belle Riva was my chance to take a break. Unfortunately, that would have to wait until after I'd unpacked. Okay, time to unpack. All right, so we have a beautiful suitcase and we have the shadows, tap the suitcase up here. I know, hang on, I'm, I'm just commentating here. And we have a coffee at the bottom. So let's go ahead and pick up our suitcase and place it down here. Do I open you? Oh, we can rotate it. Oh, we have latches. Okay, let's open the latch. Very nice. Wow, okay. So we have our passport. My passport. Not many blank pages left now. That's great. Can I open it? No, we can inspect it. Okay, we can do a bit of a 360 inspection. That's neat. So let's put you back. Hello, let's put you back. And we have earrings. Are these earrings? I saw a guitarist wearing these at a show once. Rock and roll repair woman at your service. Oh, so these are earrings. Let's put these here together. And then sunglasses. I picked up these sunglasses on my last stop. 
Hopefully I'm cool enough to pull them off. I think you're cool enough to pull off anything that makes you happy. This is a box. The tools of my trade. Oh. No hope of restoring things without these. Okay, can we inspect this? Can we open it? No, there's a lock. Okay, this is what the box looks like. Let's put you back. And what are these? Oh, my clothing. My favorite overalls. These will never go out of style. Uh, overalls do go out of style. <laughs> I used to have a pair of overalls, but I think the last time I wore them, I must have been, I want to say 12 or 13 years old. Who doesn't love a scrunchie? Practical and stylish. Yep, yeah, that's true. There's a camera. No, no comments about the camera. Okay, so here's an old school camera, but there were there was nothing said about the camera. Okay, let's put that away. My what parents took this after I made my first repair. Seems like a lifetime ago. A lifetime ago. That's cute. So that's us in our repair workshop with a clock and overalls. I'll hand these out once I'm settled in. Fingers crossed they get me some work. Okay, so these are flyers. That's cute. So we have our suitcase. Complete. We really pack light. That's we only have like one set of clothing. Everything else is just memory things. Finally, I'd made it to Bella Riva. I'd come for the food festival, taking place in a few days' time. After living off TV dinners and instant ramen for the last few months, I was craving a decent meal. I bet. Of course, I'd need to earn enough money to pay for it, so I figured I'd head out the next day and find some work. That's a good plan. My parents never wanted me to go. They wanted me to stay in their shop and have a simple, stationary life. That's not for everyone. I knew there was a world out there beyond the four walls of our antique store that I had to be a part of. Yeah, spread your wings, little one. I daydreamed constantly about the weird and wonderful places each of our antiques came from. I loved figuring out their stories, revealing the memories hidden beneath the screws and wires. That's pretty cool. This is someone who's really passionate about what they do when they really want to know the details of things. My story in Bella Riva began with a little girl and a voice she was longing to hear. Oh. Where are we going now? So we're in Bella Riva, but who's the little girl? Is it me? Am I the little girl? Okay, lullaby. So as we can see here, we do have the first four chapters that are going to be included. I'm curious how many chapters there are. My goodness. Okay, there are 14 chapters. So after this initial gameplay, there are 10 more to actually play. So let's see what lullaby really is. What do we need to fix in this cassette player? It was my first morning in Bella Riva and I couldn't wait to leave my hotel and explore. It was a quiet town, its streets and alleyways basking peacefully in the hot morning sun. Kitty Editor, where is Bella Riva? Is that a real place or is that a fictional place? Maybe I'm completely off, but education time with Kitty. In the main square, meanwhile, preparations were underway for the festival in a few days' time. Beautiful. It's, it really is like watercolors. As I handed out my flyers, I wondered what the people of Bella Riva would need me to fix. So far, everything here seemed perfect. That's, that's a bold statement. I was starting to worry I'd made a mistake when I felt someone tapping me on the back. Hi, I'm Izzy. Do you know how to fix things? Do you know how to fix things? That's cute. We got an accent. I don't know where Bella Riva is, but that definitely sounds like somewhere in the UK, perhaps? It was a little girl, maybe seven years old, who must have gotten hold of one of my flyers. She rummaged around in her backpack until she hauled out a battered red cassette deck. My tape is broken and I can't make it work anymore. I can't make it work anymore. <laughs> Why does it sound like Pippi Longstocking? No, Pippi Longstocking was not British. Who am I thinking of? I tried to fix it myself, but there's this metal thing in the way. Can you try? Metal thing in the way? Sure, let's go ahead and restore that. Oh my goodness. Okay, first things first. I think we need to take this closer. Pause, eject. Oh, the play button doesn't work. Can I turn it around? Okay, let's turn it around and see if we can unscrew the battery area. Let's go. This is really cute. We actually have to interact with this. We have to spin. Let's remove the, hang on, let's remove the top. Put it here. Aha, those batteries look like they need replacing. Luckily, I have some spares. Okay, let's move the battery. Next battery. And put some new ones in. The sound effects are wonderful. Put this on and let's take this little screw and turn it, put it in. Hello? Oh, I have to, wrong way. Wrong way, twist to the left. There you go. Righty, tighty, no, what? No, no, okay, here, it makes sense, it makes sense. Okay, we put it back. 
and let's check out the cassette tape here. Now I think the way to fix it is with a pencil, right? You put it here. Why did you do that? Listen, I have experience. I think I'm dating myself here. <laughs> so, uh, for those of you who don't know, my dad still has a cassette player and a VHS player still there. So if anything goes wonky, you put a pencil and you twist it to make sure that the ribbon thing goes back in. Look at that. How did you do that? Magic. I didn't see. It's called age. <laughs> Okay, um, can we put you in here? No, I guess not. What else do we need to, can I sip my coffee? <gasps> What's that? Oh, this is the information, interesting. Okay, I thought we could sip the coffee, but I guess not. What do I do now, can I put you in here? No? Okay, this is good, this is still good. Let me close this. Let's see if we can pull you back in there. Very nice, we'll close this and let's press play. Will you dream a dream for me? Oh. We will sit by your side and hold you so tight. Know that I will always love you. That's cute. Even though we both know that we must say goodnight. Oh, is that her mom? Good night, my darling. <gasps> okay, I do not want to get emotional. Do not get emotional. Do not get emotional. This is her mom. This game better not give me feels. Oh no. When it finished, Izzy picked up the tape deck and tucked it carefully into her backpack. Thanks, Maria. You're the best person at fixing things ever. Oh, that's no cute. No problem. Who was that singing? They're very good. Oh no, this is gonna get the feels. It's my mom. She, she's not here anymore. No! Izzy trailed off. It was the kind of silence a cassette tape would never be enough to Oh fill. no. When Izzy's friends called for her, she dug deep into her pockets, looking for something to pay me with. Oh no. Eventually, she produced a grand total of a stick of gum, three mismatched buttons, and a yo-yo. Oh no, that's terrible. Well, not terrible. She was looking for a job, but she ended up with helping a kid, which is nice. But that's not gonna pay your rent. I usually preferred a check, mm -hmm. but Izzy looked so serious, I wrote out a full receipt. Oh, that's sweet. She seemed like a happy kid, but beneath it all, Part of her life had been shattered. Mm-hmm. Part I wouldn't be able to fix. Mm-mm. Oh my goodness. This is a really cute game. Oh my goodness. Oh, we have a statue here. Shattered. My first repair complete. I spent the rest of the day doing small jobs in and around the square. The address led me to a quaint little house, a stone's throw from the beach. Bathed in the evening light, it looked beautiful, in spite of its flaking paintwork and chipped tiles. That is really pretty, I love the colors here. The front door was opened by a harried looking man, still dressed from a long day at the office. Are you Maria? My name's Joseph, I'm Isabel's father. Okay, Isabel. Izzy, oh, Izzy Isabel, okay. He heard of us, we can make the money. I'm so sorry she bothered you this morning. Please come in, I'd like to settle up properly. On the mantelpiece, I saw the remains of a broken statue. Without thinking, I picked up a fragment. Ah, my father's statue. What's left of it, at least. Yet another way I'd have disappointed him. Oh no, that's terrible. Joseph, don't say things like that. So it looks like there's a lot of these items are related to family and memories. And she's fixing family, if that makes sense. It survived a hundred years in this family. Ooh. But five minutes with Isabel and uh, do you think you can salvage it? We can fix it. I can fix your dad's disappointment. Don't worry about it, I got you. Okay, what is this? This is the base? Yes. Will you be able to see the glue afterwards? I don't want people seeing the cracks. Okay, that's a lot of pressure. How do I do this? How do we fix? Oh, okay, we can rotate. This will definitely go here. Hello? How do I do this? No. I think I need to put the pieces together first. So let's get the hip. That is not the hip. Is this the hip? This is the hip. Hmm. Okay, maybe I need the glue first. Let's put you back. And we'll take this part here. Put some of the glue. Oh, oh no. Oh, can I start over? Okay, let's put you in. I don't want to ruin this. I don't want your dad being disappointed in me. I can't handle two dads' <laughs> disappointment. Okay, hang on. We need the other leg, which is this one. So let's put some glue, I would say probably here, here, and here. Oh goodness. Like a saw. Very Sometimes nice. Sometimes I think my daughter should come with a warning label. <laughs> I, I should come with a warning label too. Okay, let's check what we have. So now we need the torso, which is here. And now the other torso. Okay, we need still need glue. Go ahead and glue this. 
I can't control the blue, okay? Don't yell at me. Hang on, I can't. Ooh, ooh, did I mess it up? No, I did not. Okay, 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 okay. I think I got this. Let's put some here. Oh my goodness. I think this is okay. This game is forgiving. Is this glue really strong enough to hold everything together? Don't worry, I got this. I got this. It's the power of love that's going to hold everything together. So let's get this in. Look at it! This is great. This is looking good. I don't see no cracks, Joseph. Thank you, Maria. It looks as perfect as it ever did. My father wanted me to make something of myself. He didn't have time for anything less. I'm kind of digging Joseph, though. <laughs> is it the accent? Is it the dapper clothing? I don't know. Is it the daddy issues? <laughs> okay, let's keep going. As Joseph put the statue back on the shelf, it nudged against the family portrait stood proudly next to it. So he was Bellariva's mayor. Oh. And that was Izzy's mom. Oh. They must both miss her so much. Oh. Sorry, I'm a little tired. I've been working late getting things sorted for the festival. There's only a few days to go. Looks like I'll be working late again. Oh no, he does not like being away from Izzy. When I told my parents I wanted to leave, they always found an excuse to be busy. To avoid talking about it. I guess keeping themselves occupied was their way of pretending it wasn't happening. Yeah, I mean, we all have different coping mechanisms. Joseph's work must have been taking up so much of his time. But maybe that was what he wanted. I just hoped he was finding enough time for Izzy, too. I hope so, too. And the next chapter is called Disconnected. But I am really enjoying this game and the story. So I think this is going to be a perfect game for us to stream. So if you do want to see more of this game, make sure that you do subscribe and click on that notification bell because we will be starting to stream again soon. And this game is definitely not a dumpster fire. If you do want to watch a dumpster fire game, make sure you click up here. If you want to catch a live stream that you may have missed, make sure you click down here. Until then, I'll see you next dumpster fire game.